Punk Revolution now. Today we're going to be reviewing Touche Amore's newest album, Lament. For those of you unfamiliar with Touche Amore, they are probably one of the most acclaimed post-hardcore bands in the past decade. Yeah, you go around asking a bunch of post-hardcore fans, what, what's your, who are your favorite post-hardcore bands in the past decade? I bet you a lot of them are going to put Touche Amore in their top five because they have a really stellar discography. I definitely recommend you check out their album Stage 4 if you haven't already. It's, it's it's got that fantastic, dynamic, powerful, post-hardcore songwriting you'd expect from Touche Amore, coupled with really heavy lyrics about the singer grieving his mother's recent death. Screamo, very powerful, very dramatic vocal delivery. Heavy stuff. I mean, that's a, that's a great album, but their whole discography is great, so I'm excited to see what is going on in their newest album, Lament. So let's start by taking a look at the album cover. I don't have really have anything to say about this album cover. It's a very simple album cover. No complaints about it, but also nothing good to say about it. So let's just move on and talk about the music. So what is Touche Amore doing in Lament? Well, let's start by talking about the opening track here, Come Heroin. I think that song is, first off, one of Touche Amore's best songs. And secondly, I think it also displays very well what is so good about this album and what's so good about Touche Amore as a band in general. And that's basically, the fact that this, these songs are epic. They're good at them. I mean, Touche Amore is good at writing epic punk songs. These songs are so exhilarating. The way they use rhythm that, you know, sometimes these songs are just like, you know, some of these songs on this album have like blast beats where it feels like you're fucking just going the speed of light. And then sometimes there's like kind of slows down a bit. And then there's fucking, you know, breakdowns. We're getting fucking hardcore here. And then there's times where it slows down and there's like a par a arpeggiating up and down a guitar chord and it gets emotional. I love how there's a little bit of effect on the guitar, like reverb and flanger. One of the best songs on this album is also one of their most epic songs, which is Limelight. Because Limelight, I mean, you could just kind of feel, if you listen closely, you'll hear these kind of like notes kind of ascending, you know. It's just like so uplifting, these notes ascending, and you know, Touche Amore is so good at kind of bringing these chord changes together that feels so just kind of powerful, which is exactly what you want in emotional hardcore because it's hitting an emotional string and the song is building up, and then at the end, there's an epic climax with vocal harmonies coming in and they're doing all this stuff the guy from manchester orchestra is doing uh, a vocal harmony and it's just like a it's like a freaking bach orchestra and it's, it's, it's like it's like, like it's like the big climax like there's just so much angst and all this music and finally you get to have a big ass climax in limelight it's so satisfying it's just so epic but there's also a lot of things in this album that like just just gotta take it down a notch that make it like that I, that prevent it from really being excellent and i think a lot of that has to do with the vocals honestly i don't hate the vocals of Touche Amore. I think his dramatic and passionate vocal delivery just worked so well in stage four. It just, I mean, I feel like if you're singing about something as tragic as your mother dying of cancer, you need to be passionate and dramatic because that's like warranted. In this album here, some of these choruses and melodies are a little bit more, kind of feel like rounded out to be a little bit more accessible, slightly more poppy, almost feels like there's a tinge of emo pop influence with this album. Like the song Reminders, that song feels to me like it was written for all of us to get together and sing together, sing along and get all of our emotions out. A little cheesy. And also like the chorus of the song Lament, that doesn't really do it for me either. Dinner's lament, so I lament. To me, it feels a little obnoxious and just kind of like lazily written. Take the song, I'll Be Your Host. Okay, so lament, like I said in the song, lament, the, the, that chorus was like, da -na -na -na. well, in I'll Be Your Host, there's literally, there's literally like a hook in there that's like, I'll be your host. It's like, this dude just literally used the same freaking chorus in two different songs, but he replaced the words and they even have the same amount of syllables. And another thing here is I don't love the lyrics. I've never really loved Touche Amore's lyrics that much, honestly, besides in stage four. But like, for example, the big climax in Limelight, one of my favorite parts of the album, the lyrics are literally, let's embrace the twilight, let's embrace the twilight. Like, what the fuck does that mean to let's embrace the twilight? And why are you, like, screaming that with so much passion? It sounds like fucking, like, Kingdom Hearts or something. It's kind of cheesy. So ultimately, I have some mixed feelings about this album because at moments we're seeing Touche Amore 
just at their very best, really dynamic, really powerful, exhilarating songwriting, just so fucking epic. And then at times we're getting kind of like the cheesy, kind of corny lyrics that feel like it's tr trying to maybe appeal to a wider audience or something like that with the poppier stuff. It, you know, it mixed feelings, but you know what? I think a lot of people are gonna love this. I think some people might actually say that this, this is their favorite Touche Amore album, but for me, I prefer a couple of their other albums. But you know what? Punk Revolution Now, 7.3 out of 10. 7.3 out of 10. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot to me. And thank you for watching. My channel is growing very fast because of all of you who are liking and commenting and subscribing. It means so much to me. So thank you for watching and Punk Revolution Now and Punk Revolution Now.